guys. So today we're going to be doing a bit of our 100 hour inspection work and I'm also going to be switching out some oil lines with the thicker oil line that I got. So it's 5 8 inch um, versus the half inch that's on there now. So we're going to do that. I'm um, sorry I got a bit of a cold. My voice might sound a little weird, dark. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and run up the engine, get the oil nice and warm before we take the cowl off and then we'll start ripping the lines off and replacing with the new ones and see if it helps my oil pressure. All right. Chilly out today, it's only plus seven. That's right, plus seven degrees Celsius. So we're gonna warm up that oil. And right now, Oil temps at 7 degrees right now, we're going to get it up to about 70, that'll be good enough to do our checks. I'm also going to do a compression check on the engine, and you're supposed to have the engine and the oil nice and warm for that as well. So that's what we're going to do. All right guys, so I've checked the compression of the engine. All the pistons are good. It's got about 78 over 80 for the compression check, differential check. And I replaced all of the spark plugs. I changed the oil filter, uh, checked the magnetic plug in there, checks for any um, bits of metal that get caught in the oil that go through. It shows you just if uh, your engine is degrading or not and how quickly. And uh, that's about it, drain the oil, so now I'm ready to replace these oil lines, these three. So I'm going to be replacing one, two, three, down to the radiator. Um, I can't find fittings that will adapt to the 5 8 inch line for these two uh, lines. So these are going to stay half inch for now until we can find some adapters that go on here. If you guys know where I can get those. I believe this is an M14 and that goes to, I want to go to 5 8 inch. So that's the challenge there. Um, so I got everything else to do these three oil lines here and we're going to hopefully get better oil pressure at higher altitude. My own reflections making me sick I've been this way since my faith quit And I never asked for this pain It's taking me over It's taking me over It's making me colder If I broke it, would you quit? Is this heartache we could fix? In the morning, when we whip When I'm sober, would you stay? If I broke it, would you quit? Is this heartache we can fix in the morning when we wake when I'm sober? Please just go easy on me, baby. Go easy on me, baby. Can you understand it? I can't keep living for the damage. Please just go easy. It's the next day now for me, not for you guys, but um, I got some progress. I got the some progress has been made. I got the connectors on here to connect the hoses. And down here I have an issue. Um, this adapter, this new 5 8 inch fitting or 10 AN fitting is too close to this uh, round bracket here. I just can't get the hose on. Um, we'll go over here. I also have an issue where this I got the new hose on but it's too close to the, the oil pump connector. So what I'm thinking about doing is cutting off this piece on the actual oil cooler uh, bracket um, so then I can actually angle this further back and this will angle the line further forward and I should have more gap in there as well. If I don't then I'll just um, trim inside there so I can slide this end a little bit forward. I just need a couple millimeters and then we'll be good to go. So I gotta cut that piece off 
and see if that'll solve my issue there. Then I can install the oil lines. So I notched out the mount for the oil cooler just with the file, a round file. Folks, it's like 9 o'clock at night and I uh, finally finished the oil lines. So I did an engine run and there's no leaks that I could find. And so it's pretty much ready to do a test flight to see if this made any improvements to my oil pressure. Fing fingers crossed. You can see here, got the new oil lines installed. Alrighty, welcome aboard. We're here to check my oil pressure issue, see if it's resolved. Right now it all looks good. It always looks good though on the ground. Well, my oil pressure does look better than it normally is. It's around 40 at this point, at 1,000 feet. So like Fox Rod, I'll do is uh, right-hand turn out and climbing through 3,500 and uh, going to be climbing up to 8,000, so we'll be switching over to terminal here fairly soon. Uh, terminal Pipster Alvarez, Fox Charlie, Delta Zulu at 4,500 over Cooking Lake. Fox Charlie, Delta Zulu, Edmonton Terminal, Squawk 5251. 5251 Fox Charlie Delta Blue. Yeah, I'm definitely pretty happy with this. Um, we're at 46 psi right now at 6,000 feet. That's well above what I've ever had in this plane. Uh, before this, I would have about 30 psi right now, so 15 less. So with this oil change, I'm getting about 15 psi extra. Climb one two thousand. Climb one two thousand. Just one five. Press for trainer. At eight thousand feet. Five minutes approach fire. One Looks like it's five thousand. Gonna be that. Lost about eight psi in six thousand feet. That is definitely an improvement of what I've had before. For train in the Miss Approach Flyway. Runway heading, climb 5,000. Runway heading, climb 5,000. Start for trainer. And it looks like it's going to level out at 41 psi, so we have lost about 9 psi in 6,000 feet altitude. Fox Charlie Delta is going to start our uh, test flight, requesting to descend for Cooking Lake. Charlie Delta Zulu, Roger, you can descend at your discretion. Charlie Delta Zulu. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and it hopefully it helps someone out else out there that has this same issue. I've run into quite a few of you already now. This certainly is something causing an issue and it seems to be with the oil pump where it's not strong enough to uh, push all the oil around with the thermostat. Uh, fortunately some planes don't have this issue which is, just boggles our mind. There we go. Touchdown. Good flight. We're just going to taxi back and 
Rip that cowling off, check out the oil lines, make sure there's no issues, no leaks. So, catch you when I'm out of the plane. Hey guys, so everything looks pretty good on the engine. I got one thing that I have to do, which is gonna be a lot of work. Um, you see here how close that exhaust pipe is to the oil line. Um, this fire sleeve is pretty thick and it's getting pretty warm there. So I talked to a guy at uh, Rotec in Vernon. He suggested remove this fire sleeve and put some kind of wrap that you can get at high performance shops um, that will protect the line from the exhaust. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have to go grab that, take this oil line off, drain all the oil, and yeah, take the oil line off, wrap it, put it back on, and then we'll be good to go. So it'll be a longer evening than I anticipated, but it's definitely what we have to do to uh, get that resolved. Uh, but everything else looks pretty good. There's no leaks that I can see. Hey guys, while I'm back, I got some reflect gold insulating tape. It's good up to 850 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that should help keep the line cool at that spot. Now we gotta drain the oil, rip that line out, put this on, put it back on, and then we're good to go.